Hello everyone. Today's topic is time and work. And the most common method to solve a time and work problem is the LCM method, which is easy but not efficient because it is lengthy and calculative. Second is the fraction method, where you are given the values of x, y, z, and then you take their fractions, add them up. The third is the percentage method, which we will be discussing in detail. And by using the percentage method, you can solve a question on time and work of any difficulty level without using your pen and paper and just in your mind. Let's take a look. In order to do that, you have to remember certain values. If you remember these values, these fraction values are enough to solve almost any question on, on any difficulty level. But let's take an example. Let's say A can do a work in 20 days. B can do the same work in 30 days. Now, if you take a look at the fraction values, what it implies is if X is doing a work in five days, it means he's doing 20% of work in one day. Similarly, if X is doing a work in eight days, it means he's doing 12.5 percentage of work in one day and so on. So if you take the value of 20, it means five percentage of work is done in one day, right? Let's write it 5 percent. Then if you take, if you see the value for 30, which means 3.33 percentage of work is done in one day. Let's add them up. If you really remember these values, it will strike you that, okay, 8.33 corresponds to the value of 1 by 12, which means 12 days is your answer. Now, if you take the LCM method, you will have to first find their efficiency and then solve the problem. If you take the fraction value method, you will have to first multiply like a into b upon a plus b. Again, it will be calculative and not as efficient as the percentage method. Now, take a look, think for a moment, how hard it was to add 5 and 3.33 if you remember the values. You don't even need to use your pen and you can simply get your answers by just calculating it in your mind. Since this question was just for example, and the difficulty level you will face in your exams will be greater than this. So as we go further along, along this video, the difficulty level of the questions we discuss will rise, but you will find that the solution remains the same, the logic remains the same, and you will be able to solve these questions in just one line. When we say X can do a work in 10 days, it simply means that in one day he can do 10% of the work, correct? Now this one like line logic, well it's enough to solve almost 95% of your time and work problem. I'm saying 95% because there is an exception to this particular method which we'll come to later on and further we'll be discussing some basic questions before moving on to intermediate que level questions and then we'll try the actual uh, uh, higher difficulty level problems. Let's take a look at uh, 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 basic questions and uh, a solution using all the three methods. Let's say the LCM method we have a we have a uh, doing a work in 10 days and b doing the same work in 15 days so if you follow the lcm method you have to first take out the efficiency for a and b for a it will come around uh, 3 for the b it will be 2 then divide this by their total efficiency you have 6 in order to get this, I almost use my 10 seconds. Let's see the second method. A into B upon A plus B. Still almost same time, but quite time taking. Let's see our competition safari method. Now we have 10 days, 
ten percent. Fifteen days, six point six seven percent, I guess. Well, if you remember the values, you will it will strike you quite uh, easily what the corresponding values will be. If you add them up, you'll get the value sixteen point six seven percent. Means this work is done. This uh, this amount of work is done in one per, uh, one day. So in order to complete hundred percent of work, you will see the value sixteen point six seven corresponds to the value of one by six. It means you can do the same work in six days. Now, fellas, if you really remember these values, it will be a lot easy to just find the answers without using your pen. And I actually mean it. Now, we have some problem with the fraction method. I, I wrote it wrong. It has to be the fraction method. Well, the fraction method, we have a normal solution A into B, A plus B. Now, this solution is works good if you have just two options for A and B. But if you add a third, third person to this, this fraction method almost gets fail. Like, how are you going to solve a, an equation with uh, three variables for fraction method? And when you see the LCM method, you have to take count for three uh, individual uh, values. Like, you have to find uh, the fraction uh, LCM for three different values. So this again can be quite time taking. If you compare, if you see the competition safari method, it's quite easy. You have 10 days, it means 10%. You have 20 days, it means 5%. Again, you have 20 days means 5%. It brings you 20% of work in one day, which means the value corresponds to 20% is one by five, yes. So the complete work can be done in five days. Now, these are some really very, very, very easy and basic questions which you won't be getting in your examinations in the current date. Such questions used to come in examinations almost five or six years back, but that is not the case now. And uh, it's for just to explain you the normal method and just an example where the fraction method fails and uh, we have limitations. Let's uh, check some medium level questions for time and work. Now here we have three different persons and uh, let's try with our competition safari method. So you see here three and you can simply write down 33.33%. .33%. Well, Let's do the ritual. A can do a work in three days. B can do the work in four days. And C can do the same work in six days. So cumulatively, how, if they work together, in how many days can they do the same work? Uh, the ritual is done and let's see a solution. So we have three days here. And if you remember the value, you can simply write down 33.33%. You have four days, I guess it will be 25%. Yeah. 25%, 6 days, 16.67%. Add it up, you'll get zero, ooh, 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 carry one, zero, carry one, nine, six, five, carry one, three, two, five, one, six, one, seven. So 75% of the work is done in one day. We have one day, 75% work. In the next day, it will complete by efficiency upon 75 1 by 3 so you have total one day and one by three days that's our answer uh, again if you follow the very genius method ways which is lcm and fraction you can get your answer but god bless you so here is the solution which you can get your answers quite easily but uh, Let's take, talk about the limitations, right? So the limitations where our competition safari method fails is when you are required to find the ratio for
for uh, for mother and child like you have questions where you are you have to find the ratio of work done by mother and child and that's where it's quite it gets pretty difficult to find the solution for this and that's the only limitations but other than that almost 95% of the questions you can easily solve if you remember these values let's take another example uh it's it's almost an intermediate level question so let's see a and b together can do a work in 12 days b and c can do the same work in 20 days and c and a can do the same work in 15 days now uh, if you are quite uh, familiar with uh, solving such linear equations you have you just what you do is you add the three values like a plus b b plus c c plus a right that's what you do so i'm just writing here to explain you how things actually work you don't have to write all this if you remember these values and you can try it once uh, i'll give you time for about 5 or 7 seconds to solve these questions without using a pen so we have a plus b doing a work in 12 days 12 days means you have uh, 8.33 percentage of work sorry for my bad handwriting 20 days is 5 percent 15 days is again 6.67 percent add it up you have 9 and 6.15 and this 20 percent of work but there's a trick now if you see this you have 2a here 2b and 2c so what you have found the value is for 2a 2b and 2c check it out and 10 percent is your answer for a b and c now same same again old ritual 10 percent corresponding to value of 10 days right so if they work together they can complete this work in 10 days right we have one thing to share here like when you tried this uh, this method for solving by lcm you almost took 10 seconds almost same goes with the fraction method right 10 seconds when you take this this other route which is the percentage method you can easily solve it within 3 to 5 seconds now this margin difference of 5 seconds it makes a it it's quite significant in examinations like if you can spare 10 seconds from taking a shortcut route it can help you solving another question like in in the english section or some other section so time does matter and if you sm work smartly it can really help you out to stand out amongst the crowd and get you through the examinations now enough said let's take another example for an intermediate level question here we have another question where a plus b can do a work in eight days b and c can do the same work in 12 days a b and c together can do a work, the same work in six days we have to find a value for a plus c you know this method a plus b plus c i'm just writing so much so you can understand but if it appears to you and you remember these values you can solve it without you know <laughs> So A plus B, B plus C, and C plus A. So A days is uh, equal to almost 12.5%. Um, B plus C will be 833 we don't know the value for c plus a which is we have to find twice of a plus b plus c one uh, six days which means 
uh, we have 33.33 percent almost so 12 and 8 is 20 and this goes 20.83 plus c plus a now take it here this side subtract it and you will get 20.83 percent which is 12.50 percent now again if you remember the values 12.5 percent corresponds to 1 by 8 days so the value for c plus a together doing the work will be 8 days that's it you don't have to write all this i'm just doing this to make you understand i hope i do well <laughs> so we have just know if you remember the values it's quite easy for you like all you need to do is this in your mind six days dot a plus b 33.33 subtract Voila, you got your answer. Let's check another question. Now, this is somewhat a good question. I'm not seeing a very good difficulty, but yeah. If A can complete a work in six days, B can do it in eight days. And with help of C, they can complete it in three days. If they are paid 4,000 rupees for the whole work, what is the share of C? now follow the procedure you the moment you saw a while reading your question a six days break it up immediately 16.67 percent b eight days you know 12.5 percent c is what you have to find and you know together they can do it in three days so a is contributing 16.67 percentage of work in one day. In three days, he will be contributing almost 50 percent. Same goes with B. It will be 37.5 percent. And then the rest of the work, like C, if A, B, and C together did the work in three days, a contributed, A has done 50% of the work in the three days. B has done 37.5% of work in three days. The remainder work is done by C. That's what it means. So together they are doing A and B, 87.5% of work, which means C is doing the rest of the 12.5% of work. Now, we have to find how much c is paid for working three days you know 12.5 percent corresponds to one by eight and together they are paid four thousand so four thousand and we have to find the word for 12.5 percent so you can take this lazy method you got your answer right 12.5 percent and you those and you know this fraction values so you can immediately put your answer but if you want to do the you know the genius method well here you have now it's totally up to you whether you want to solve using this genius method or this lazy method. Thank you. See you in the next video.